Okay, so we're here. Today I am going to do a super shock shadow collection tag that um, I saw on Riri's channel. So, so her channel name I will put on the screen. So it's D Rain Riri. And um, she said she got the idea from Gingerbread Girl, Dolly. And Dolly was just doing. Um, the super shock sh shadows and swatching them but um really made it into a challenge and although she didn't although she didn't take me in the challenge i thought it would be fun to do and um the other thing is i don't actually have very many super shock shadows so i'm going to include my um jelly match shadows as well because otherwise i don't think i'm gonna have enough for a look so what she did was she did her eyeshadow and her her cheek stuff with the super shock shadows and um, didn't use any other products for eyeshadow. I think she used liner and stuff, but I'm just being confusing now. So I, I saw Riri doing this challenge and I thought it would be fun. So I thought I'd give it a go. So um, it won't take long for me to swatch my Super Shock shadows because I have these three and I have the Party Talk collection. And those are all the super shocks I've got. But I do have three Jelly Match shadows as well, so I'm going to use those as well. So I got the the birthday one, the birthday treat one, which you got free when you ordered um, stuff from the birthday collection. So this one is quite pale and sparkly. Very much my kind of colours. And I got take all other boxes, but um <laughs> Reem, this one that is called the blue one. It's just quite a very light one. I don't know how well it's gonna show up on my own. It's more like a topper than little overshadow but I wanted a real pale blue sparkly thing so that's and it has a bit of a purpley shift which is really pretty and the other one that I have so so these are the only two that I brought individually and the other one is the green one which is called fizz which I just fell in love with that color because look how can you not one swipe <laughs> it's just so pretty So those are the three individual ones, and the, this one is called a Super Shock Shadow, Fizz is called a Super Shock Pressed Pigment, and this one is a Super Shock Shadow. So interesting because these two say not for our area, but this one doesn't say that, even though it says ultra glitter on it, <laughs> so it's very confusing. And then I have these ones, which are the Super Shock Extreme. So they're very, very glittery. And the trick is to get them out of the container because they're not easy to get them out of the box. Okay, so this one is called Party Party, which is. And this one is called Sorry for Partying. So this one, this one's a bit of a weird one. It's got a blue kind of base with some purple glitter in it, but the blue base doesn't really show that well. Out of all the of them, I think that was the one I liked the least. And this one is called Party Cloudy. It's a yellow one. <laughs> that one's trying to get some pan. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see right, right there. So that's that one. This 
one is called Can't Party Wait. It's a pale pink. I wonder if you'll even be able to see that on there. So yeah. Party plan. Which is kind of a taupey brown with gold with it. That's actually quite pretty, I quite like it. So that's that one. And that one feels really nice. And last super shock is Party Shop, which is a bright pink with gold glitter. So those are all my super shock shadows. And I will also do the jelly match shadow. This one is Doves and Roses, which came with the Sweet Talk set. But that's what it looks like. Put my finger in there. So it's quite a subtle pinky colour. So really pretty. You see it? Yep, I just dropped it. <laughs> and this one is Strawberry Jam, and this one was from the Strawberry Shake set. Get the top off. So that's what that one looks like, as well with my nails. So it's a nice orange with a little bit of a red shade. And the last one is also from the Strawberry Shake set. And this one was Strawberry Jelly. And this was the bright pinky red one. It's a little bit <laughs> smiling. <laughs> I love that one. So that's what we're working with. I'm not going to use all of them on my face. But I will use some of them. <laughs> the lids on. So I am going to do my eyes first because um, I find some of these can kind of create quite a bit of glitter fallout because like party talk ones are definitely glittery. So I have done my eyebrows. This one's looking this one's looking patchy and this one's looking crazy. Mm -hmm. I think it needs a bit of That's what those look like with the light off. And it's just, so that's just natural light from the window in front of me. And I think I'm going to start off with this one, which is Sorry for Partying, which I said was my least favourite, but I am going to use it because it's the darkest one I've got. So I'm going to see what I can do because I'm going to have plenty of glitter for that. Which one shall I go in with? I'm going to go in with this one which is called Party Shop which is the dark of the pink so that's that one there. Then normally I wouldn't do a whole eye lock with these. I would just an accent. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the other pink one which is called Party Party. So that's that one. What happens if I rub this in here and then <laughs> try and get rid of some of the glitter? Anyone else always can't remember whether they use glitter or not? I mean, 
find random bits of glitter on my face. I've ripped my makeup even though I haven't used glitter. Um, got glitter in my eyes. Glitter. I'm gonna go in with a clean fluffy brush. This is actually a um, blush brush. I'm just gonna sweep some of that glitter away. Because I don't want that much glitter. And then I'm gonna go in with Ren, which is the blue one, the blue purple shift one. And I'm gonna use my finger for this one, I think. I think it's a nice colour on top of the pink. So, if I put this over the top of pink eyeshadow, it will look really pretty. And I'm going to go back into this one, which is the, uh, sorry for partying, the one with the dark blue in it. I'm gonna try and blow some of the glitter off. Put it back in that corner. Darken it up a bit. Now, which one was that one? I think it was this one. So it was Can't Party Wait. This really light one. And I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush again and I'm gonna put that up the top there. Oh, that wood smell good. Here. Use it for blending out. <laughs> so much glitter. Yeah. yeah, usually the super shop shadows don't have this much glitter, it's because it is the party talk one with the super shock extreme, so but these are extremely glittery compared to most super shock shadows. Glitter all stuck on my face. <laughs> I think it was a good idea not to do um, my face first, and I've got glitter all over my desk. <laughs> I'm thinking... I'm going to go back into green. And I'm also thinking I'm going to need to wash my brushes when I finish this because they're all going to be covered in glitter and I won't want to use them again before they've been washed. So I'm going to go back into green. And I'm going to blend that into my face. Green is so pretty. That reminds me of lilac when it's over pink. Maybe I don't need to colour pop lilac you a lot. How lot maybe I just need to put this over various different pinks and blues. Because <laughs> that is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put some on. I'm gonna go with purple today. And then I'm going to go in with a green. And then I'm going to go in with fizz, which is the bright green one. I love my green. I, I realised I'm wearing completely the wrong colour shirt because I'm wearing mustard and that doesn't go with this look at it. <laughs> Never mind. So, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do my foundation and then I'll come back. So I've put my foundation on and I haven't powdered yet and some concealer and I used the um, Colourpop liner in France, which is the right hand one, in there, and put a little bit of mascara on, so that's what I've done so far. And then I'm going to use... A 
I'm gonna... <laughs> this, this could be a big mistake. I'm gonna use this one here because I love it and I wanna try it. I'm gonna try that with my blush. If I can figure out where to put it. <laughs> And this is why I haven't powdered yet. So, I'm um, trying to use a little bit of a finger. Can you see that on from my? I'm going to go in with the other one as well, which is more orangey. This one here, which is strawberry jam. The other one was strawberry jelly. I might try using an iced apple brush actually. I think. I'll just put a little wee bit on the brush. Can you see it? And then I'm going to buff it in. I think this one will be better as a cheek product because my yeah, is a bit too pigmented. I'm going to go back into strawberry jelly. They really pick up. Because I can't resist it, it's too clean. Just put a bit of colour on my face. And now I'm going to powder because I don't plan on using any of the other jellies, I don't think. Mm. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm going to put some of the Dubs and Roses one as kind of my top of the cheek. Now I'm going to powder. Okay, I'm going to go in with Party Plan, which is kind of that taupey one, and I'm going to pretend that could be a bronzer. So, that's what it's looking like. I'm going to tip some off because I don't want too much glitter. Okay, I'm going to try my contour brush in that same colour because it is reasonably cool tone I think I can get away with it being a contour kind of colour oops I dropped it it survived <laughs> I'm gonna go into which one? I'm gonna go into Bath and Treat, which is that one there. With my blush brush. Let me already definitely look like I got some blush on it. And I think I'm going to go back into this one, which was Can't Patty Wait. And I'm going to try that as my highlighter. Oh, it's an extremely glittery highlighter. <laughs> you want glitter all over your face, big fingers. <laughs> buff off some of the glitter. Hey, if I went out in the sun now, I would definitely sparkle. I could be a Twilight vampire. <laughs> and my brushes are all very sparkly. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but they're all covered in glitter. And there is my final look. I am very sparkly and glittery. glittery. I am very sparkly and glittery. And I have glitter dandruff in my hair because the glitter has just gone everywhere. <laughs> so um, this was really fun, but um, I don't think I would make a habit out of just using my Super Shock shadows. This one here, I did discover green. Looks beautiful over pink eyeshadow, so that will be something I will definitely do in the future. Looks really nice. And... Um, 
if you want to be really glittery, then <laughs> this is the way to go. Um, I don't have any of the Super Shop cheap products, so I just used what I had, and um, most of what I had was really glittery. <laughs> that's why I'm just a glitter bomb. <laughs> so this was fun. Thank you for really, really for making this collection tag. Um, I will list Riri down at the bottom, and I will put her um, video that she did up in the cards so that you can see what she did with hers. She had a few more products than me, and she did actually have some product cheap products. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm feeling very colourful and fun. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye.